All right, guys. I've been uh, getting some comments. You guys want to see my uh, tackle box? Want to see the update of it over this past season? Got a lot of different lures, but uh, here's my main tackle box. I keep uh, a lot of my terminal tackle in there, all my hard baits, different types of things. Let's start off with the front pocket. And it's a feeling stream big. Pretty good size. The shrap for carrying stuff really helps. The front <coughs> pocket right here. Always keep uh, some bug spray with me. Get out there in the hot summer days and they're biting you. Good to have this with you. Um, some random stuff in there. Screwdriver for the troll motor. If I gotta replace the uh, pin and the prop, I throw my old line in here. Never throw in the water. Um, <clears throat> hand sanitizer. Very good to have as well. Um, my punch stops I keep in here in a little plastic bag for when you're uh, <clears throat> pegging a bullet way, you put one of those on there, it really helps. I use nails in the uh, troll mortar because the, uh, the pin that I originally had with it broke, so I use uh, little nails in there. That holds it. And a wrench to uh, undo the, the bolt, the crusher wrench. Keep in here. There's the front pocket. Side pocket. And this one I keep my uh, scale over here. Got the uh, the Koo Call Scale 55 pound digital. Really nice scale. Got a temperature on here, all type of stuff. Um, got a tape on the side. Comes out the side right there. Here, usually I'll throw some uh, extra, extra line on this on this side. <clears throat> Nothing in there right now for the winter, but usually I have a stock of extra line things like that. All right, well back here I keep my uh, pliers, things like that. You got the uh, repair pliers right here. Come <clears throat> very handy, very good to have. Hook file. Can't go rolling with this. Dull up some hooks and some branches there. Sharpen them up right away. Um, got some scissors for the braided line. Gotta have those for Pala. Then uh, some Rapala clippers for like a model and stuff like that. That really helps to have a, one, one of those. Really, really helps out. Well, that's the main tackle bag right there. So let's go into the hard baits. Now I open it up for you guys. On the inside it's really good to label your boxes like over here. Put jigs, crankbaits, swim baits, things like that. Top orders. It's my spinner bait box and uh, terminal tackle over here. It's really good just to label them so when you're on the water you can just pull them out real quick. So know where everything is. Helps really organize things, save time. All right, first box I got for you guys is the old jig box. Keep all my jigs in here, swim jigs, football head jigs, pitching jigs, flipping jigs. Uh, pretty, primarily all uh, dirty jigs, really like the dirty jigs, can't go wrong with them. Black and blue dirty jig swim jig right there. <clears throat> Caught a lot of fish on these uh, swim jigs over the summertime, you can see in my past videos. Really, really good color, put like a baby pocket curl in the back of that, or like a little dipper, skinny dipper, and you just whack it every time. Really good jigs, some swim jigs right there. Some more, another half ounce, I really like the black and blue, so I keep a couple of those. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, like chartreuse shad, caught, caught a fish on this one, with a little dipper on the back. Uh, Another black and blue one. I believe that's like a half ounce. Mostly throw a half ounce swim jigs. Just got one three a ounce right now for like shallow water. Like if you want to swim over some pads, whatever. Uh, let's see what else we got. Another swim jig over here. Not sure what color. I think this is the uh, 
green sunfish right there. A really cool color. Uh, sexy shad. <coughs> Swim jig right there. Very, very good. Then I got like a crappy color over here. Just want to bash the hitting on the crappy. Throw one of those. Then you got your standard green pumpkin swim jig right there. Like if you want to imitate some bluegill, throw a green pumpkin trailer on there. Maybe a little bit of chartreuse in there. That'll work really well. That's all for the swim jigs. Now what else I got over here? I got some pitching jigs. Really good. 30 jigs. Pitching jig. This one, I forgot how to pronounce this name. It's like... Uh, or Zuka jigs or something like that. <coughs> Pitching jig. Really didn't catch any fish on this with it. Uh, <coughs> really didn't throw it very much at all. So, and the pitching jig. This is a uh, pond bug color. Basically, a green pumpkin and blue. Pitching jig. I think this is the go-to color. Always put the rattles on there really helps and a pitching jig green pumpkin half ounce uh, football head jig this one I just got in from the bass car just one of those bass I think it's a bass patrol it's in one of my latest videos but it's nice little football head jig nice little skirt there but the hook is just tiny yeah, really, really small hook there. Uh, more pitching jigs. So this is uh, one of the uh, no jack flipping jigs. I mean, this thing got a really, really strong hook on here. They call it a 10x hook. Most of the jigs are from dirty jig are 3x, but this one is serious. Black, blue, and purple on this one. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's all purple on this side and on the head. That's purple and the blue showing up and the video showing up blue. Real nice. Another one, this is a really cool call. I got black, blue, and chartreuse in there, some some brown. Really nice. Uh another football head jig. I think this is a go-to color. Green pumpkin and brown basically. Three ace ounce. And a football head jig half ounce. This is like a golden crawl color. Some chartreuse in there. Uh, green. Really, really nice color. Half ounce pitching jig. Black and blue. Uh, three ace ounce black and blue. Half ounce flipping jig, HP flipping jig. Then I got the three ace ounce color, quite a few in this color, so the neons, black and red basically. Oh, nice one. Alright, next up we got my uh, crankbaits here. <clears throat> A lot of different crankbaits. I really like the uh, KVD uh, square bill. This is the uh, Fire Tiger. Very good color. At first I had no confidence in it, but this is all they had left in stock in Tackle Warehouse. So I picked this one up and I really like it. It's been doing really well for me, this color. Change all my hooks out to the KVD Mustad triple, hook, triple grip hooks. Really, really good. Uh, another one in here. Black chartreuse, uh, man's one of mine, so I've been blasting them off of this one. <coughs> I just really need to get a, a bigger one because I catch a lot of fish on this, but most of them, I would say about 75-80% of them is about, uh, you know, like a pound or less. My biggest one on this, on this crankbait all season was like two and three quarters. He smashed it, but uh, most of the time small fish. Got a uh, Shrike King, that, that, that's a uh, 5XD, Shark Blue, 
Um, this is a cotton cordell, I believe. This red rattle trap with some on this one. We got a red eye shed. Bluegill color right there. Excalibur. Red eye shed. It's like, I don't know the name of that color. I think it's a chartreuse bait fish. Sexy shed. Red eye shed. Got on shop there. I got my uh, Debra Divers Excalibur, Sexy Shed, White Bomber, uh, Chartreuse Blue, Excalibur, size 8 to 10. I got a 1.5 KVD square ball. Didn't really throw the 1.5s at all, really. All season I threw the 2.5 is a really good success, but this year may have a downside for like that clear water. By the 1.5s, so we'll see. Uh, Bill Normans, Coffin Bill, Chartreuse, that's like a gold sexy shad. This is a big boy, a uh, three quarter ounce red eye shad, sexy shad color. I got a half ounce uh, red eye shad, it's like a chrome color. And I got some over here. This is the uh, Spro crankbait with the Piz Customs. Uh, Paint job on there, really nice. I got another Piz Custom crankbait right here. So I think it's like a Rebel uh, crankbait. It's like a perch call, he uh, painted that one. Real nice. Alright, now we got my uh, swim bait box, but I throw other things in here too. One of the baits, the True Tungsten uh, 7 inch bluegill, that's a sexy shad. Uh, not too many fish on this besides that a private pond. It's a really big bait, seven inches. It's really thick, you know, wide right here from left to right. Uh, got a BBZ over here. Just got this in uh, Takawara Sora from Black Friday, from the uh, Black Friday style. Really nice. Can't wait to try this. This is the uh, six inch and uh, sexy shad. Lavender color or something like that. Uh, I got some frogs in here. Copper's Live Target. Done well on this. Not sure the name of this one. Uh, Bose Frog. Something like that. This thing, it, it's a pretty good frog, but it takes in a lot of water. Uh, got the idea from getting this fro frog from Blood Knot 101. Uh, Skip channel on YouTube there. He has one that's about like 10 years old and he catches multiple, multiple fish on it. So I got this one. It uh, doesn't perform as well though because it you know, takes in so much water. But I'm going to try doing his mod maybe this upcoming season. Try to keep the water out of it. Because other than that, these frogs hold up really well. Uh, next up, Black Spro. Everyone knows about those frogs. Very good. Just got this one and try Spro Popping Frog. Rainforest color, black. I keep all my chatter beats in here. Got some black and blue ones, quarter ounce, uh, five eighths ounce. This is a uh, banded jigs chatter bait. Green pumpkin, I haven't tried that one yet. Uh, chartreuse chatter bait. I got some more over here. This is a booyah chatter bait. With that hook that flexes, so they won't throw it. Um, and that chatter bait, Z Man, Chartreuse, uh, Sexy Shad Color One. And I got uh, more swim baits over here. Just got this one as well, the uh, Shrike King, Baby King Shad. This is like an, a ghost Chartreuse color, or something like that. Change the hooks on, I haven't tried it yet. We're looking forward to trying this baby. Um, True Tungsten, got this one, never caught anything on this. Really not that good. Then uh, BBZ1 and Bluegill. Really nice, comes with a good Gamakatsu hooks on there. They have a really good swim on them, so can't wait to try this one out. Should do pretty well on it.
All right, now we're up to my uh, top order box. Uh, let's see what we got in here. I got a Spooks, white bone color, real nice. Uh, another Spook, sexy shed. Super Spook Junior, done well on this one, the smaller one. It's like uh, American shed color. Uh, Lunker Plunker, never caught anything on this. I mean, it's a really big top war. It's almost like a swim bait. Nice though. Very hard to walk one of these though. Can't say it's easy. It's pretty hard. Then I got my buzz baits up here. Booyah. Very good. With the clacker. Got a white one here. Black Booyah buzz bait. Really good. This one is good in like staying money water where it's but when it's like dark out. Very good. A lot of success on this one. Then I got a chartreuse one. Real nice. Alright, now I got the uh, spinnerbait box. It's the plain one, organizing real well. Got a whole bunch of different ones in here. Got a uh, revenge. Bluegill. These are really nice detailed skirts and heads on these, but they just don't hold up. They definitely don't hold up very well. Because they have a thin wire, but good action. They do catch fish. Very good. Striking. Strikings. Uh, show you a cool one I got in here. This is a uh, Terminator. You don't see many people throwing these. So got the dual blades on the top there. Real nice. Three quarter ounce for deep water. Shoal of chartreuse. And I got another one of them in white. This is a half ounce. The dual blades there. Chartreuse and white striking. All different other spinner baits in here. You guys get the point. Show you another one. Terminator, Striking, Booyah, uh, Striking is another Striking, Razor, uh, one of the baby ones. I think there's like a half ounce, real nice. The burning clear water, real compact. Now I got the uh, terminal tackle box on the Falcon FTO. Real nice organized mean. I will use this any day over a regular tackle box. As soon as you turn as soon as you turn upside down like that, everything's just gonna get mixed up. Plus everything's labeled on the bottom means you really can't go wrong with this. I really highly, highly recommend this. Let's see what we got in here. Got weights, tungstens, leads. Uh, five out of hook, four, three, two, one out of hooks. I uh, got some owner jig heads, real nice with that screw lock right there. Trailer hooks, gotta have those. Miscellaneous hooks, uh, beads. Protecting your line or if you're Carolina rigging, things like that. I go with all the super line hooks, I use braid for almost everything I, I use, so. Big five-bot kamikatsus. Uh, big wacky rig hooks here, five-bots for big sankos and things like that. I just keep everything in this box. I mean, it's really good. It's one of the small ones. If you got the room, go with the bigger ones, you keep more in there, but I pretty much get everything I, I need right in this box, so can't really go wrong with it. Very, very nice box. Got some snaps over here. Uh, drop shot hooks. Don't drop shot really much at all. I like to keep moving. I can't just sit there and uh, jig a worm. So, little number, I think these are number two hooks. Yeah, number one and number two hooks. Really, really small. 